This corporation, my corporation. Come on, follow me inside. See, in my corporation, we have everything. We do real estate, hotels, casinos. We have some of the best golf courses, all run by me. Hola, Brenda. Como estas? Me gusta your taco bowls very much. She's great. She's great. She's great. This is my head of real estate, Angie. How's it going? Good. Really? Because we're at 0.85% drop on real estate. Okay, look. No, this is bad. No, no. Listen. We need to go up. We're losing money. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, all right? Okay, well, look, can't you see I'm trying my best? No, here? obviously, it didn't seem like you wanted okay. See, this is why we're building a wall. You know, we gotta keep riffraff out. You know, you get me? All right. I try to, try to run a very tight business here. This corporation is very important to me. I make lots of money from this. Here we are. Our office is very important to me. This is Javier. He runs resources. He's a bus kill. I don't like him. So you're someone else in that workplace. That's Stuart. He's okay. This is Tanya. She's the most productive, hardworking person in this place. And she loves Starbucks. How do I know? Because she's white. She loves Starbucks. Good work. So this is our customer service representative, Lisa Dad. He's got an explosive attitude. <laughs> right now I'm just showing the cameras around here at the corporation, how we run things, introducing everyone. I don't like that joke he said, it was pretty offensive. No, I thought it was pretty funny, you know, I'm pretty sure the cameraman liked it too. Yeah, that was funny. Beep! That's how we roll. Family? Yeah. Family? That's how you treat your family? Yeah. You know. <laughs> what was that? What am I doing here? I really don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, you're right. I should leave. Yeah, my racist. Nah, come on. There's a difference between being racist and just making a joke. We're all friends here in the office. We all mess around like that. That's what friends do, right? No, except for, you know, Javier. He's a buzzkill. I really don't like him. Why is he still in this office? Yeah, but anyways, you know, I'm not racist at all. I haven't made a single racist joke ever in my life. It's just how we mess around. That's how we kid. We're like family, and I'm pretty sure everyone has the same idea about me. Really, just ask everyone. No. No. Call me? Hmm. I guess I, there's nothing I can do. Job to take care of it? Well, you could say it is, but I usually have to handle all the complications, our time management, our anything that goes in the office, any affairs. But this doesn't really seem like it's like hurting anyone, so I think I'm just gonna let it slide. But if I say it goes, I think I'm pretty sure it has to go. I told you to put these papers away. And you put them away, but you put them in the wrong place. No, you told me to put it right there. I told you to put it exactly with the same one. And you did not do that. You just told me to put it right there. You never specified. No. I told you to just put them away. They're all the same, but you just didn't put them in the same spot. Okay, do you have stuff? No, actually, I would like to file a complaint. No. It's, it's really gotten out of hand. Is this about Mr. Ryan? Yes, it's about Mr. Ryan. I just feel like it really has gotten out of hand. Yeah, okay, this isn't the first complaint he's got, and he's actually got a lot. I think we're going to have to arrange a meeting because we're going to need to talk to him, and you're not the first, just, just to be sure. Don't worry. That's a lot of complaints. So I'll arrange a meeting and we'll see where it goes from there. Maybe we can help them, maybe we can help the rest of the company, but it actually needs to be dealt with right away. Yeah, the racist jokes just really hit hard. Yeah, okay. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Okay. Thank you. No problem.
Okay, I'm Javier. I work with like resources and everything. And there's been a lot of racist jokes coming from the office. So I'm here to tell you guys all that there's it's been getting out of hand and the racist jokes need to stop right now. And we're all here right now because we want something to do with it. We have to do something about it. Any racism in this office, or I would have been the first to know about it. Well, um, it's coming from you. Wait, hold up. Are you talking about that joke where you said about the Arab? Uh, Why would you say that? That's so racist. Well, you no, said no. Get out. Get no, out right no, now. No, hold on. No, she doesn't have to go anywhere. You stay. You get out. You're, this is was waste of time. This whole meeting was a waste of time. Get out now. You're costing me money. He actually has a point, guys. I don't like to be discriminated like that. The whole Starbucks thing has gone out of control. I have no problem, Mr. Rump. We're best friends. We actually said something and accomplished something. And it would have been even better if I missed it was here. Because a lot of it went to him. Too bad he's not here today. We'll to keep in touch. Well, we learned something here today. We learned what it feels like to be discriminated against. And we, I think we all learned a valuable lesson from that. That no matter what the color of your skin or what you've done, you, we shouldn't make jokes like that. I finally understand that now. Just like Hitler. He was German. He did some pretty bad things. Doesn't mean all Germans do it. I hope. But a person like that shouldn't exist anymore. This is a lesson we should teach our kids. And so on and so on and so on. And I think all together, we can make a world a much better place. So I apologize. Thank you very much.